Greetings, and welcome back everyone to Around the Clock. First off, a very huge shout out goes out to every single one of my subscribers out there, as well as anyone tuning in and listening. And in today's news, Disney officially discusses Sora DLC coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Alright everyone, we all know Sora from the Kingdom Hearts series of games is the number one requested DLC character to become a fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So much so that Sora is even at the top of the request list in three different regions around the world, Japan at number two, the United States at number one, and Europe at number one as well. And now everyone, we even have a statement from the Vice President and General Manager of Disney Japan himself, Justin Scarpone. This is what he had to say about Sora coming to Smash Ultimate in the Kingdom Hearts Insider. Scarpone has really close ties to Tetsuya Nomura and Shinji Hajimoto. From the most pivotal legal standpoint, the copyright of Sora belongs to Disney. Disney cannot leisurely use Sora freely. When using Sora for any type of marketing, Disney always has to ask permission from Tetsuya Nomura and Square Enix themselves to allow the use of Sora's character, whether it be Disney or Square Enix. They want to make sure Nomura would be 100% comfortable with the idea. Disney will have to get the invitation from Nintendo and have fan demand to really get the process of Sora being in Smash going. This will also need major approval from Square Enix and Nomura. Disney is not very restrictive, but rather very particular. So Disney would not have crazy strict control as people like to say. If all those things came together, then Sora and Smash would be something Disney would consider. Kingdom Hearts 3 is currently Disney's biggest priority. Anything after Kingdom Hearts 3's development, that is something Disney can seriously consider afterwards. Now everyone, as far as that last statement is concerned, we all know that Kingdom Hearts released earlier this year and the Remind DLC will be releasing this winter. So I'm not sure if they mean that the development of the total game or with the DLC being completed as well, they'll start considering Sora to be a DLC character in Smash Ultimate. But what we do know is that there's one more spot in the Fighters Pass for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And as of now, the Fighters Pass is stacked with legendary and iconic characters. We have Joker from Persona 5, Hero from Dragon Quest, Banjo Kazooie, and Terry Bogart from Fatal Fury. And announcing Sora from Kingdom Hearts as the fifth and last character in the Fighters Pass would be huge. The internet will probably shut down. So many people have been wanting this character in the game, and I can honestly say that I believe Sora has a chance of being in Smash Ultimate. If he's not the fifth character in the Fighters Pass, most likely an additional character because we all know that more characters are on the way. And with Terry Bogart releasing soon in November, we will most likely get word of who's the fifth character in the Smash Ultimate Fighters Pass. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on Disney discussing Sora DLC coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in the Fighters Pass? Please let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new daily Nintendo news content right here at Around the Clock. We're here. We focus on Nintendo gaming news around the clock. Catch you guys in the next one.